Hey everyone, Ewok Hugs, and today we are going to continue our C++ tutorial. Um, so last time, we took care of a few bugs that would present themselves in the future, and we handled those, and this time, we are going to do a few more things, and by the end of this episode, our calculator should be just about done, which is awesome. Um, so today what we are going to need to do is... We're going to need to put these operation buttons and set them up nice and pretty. We're going to need to set up the geometry for them. This is fairly simple. Um, we've done it before with previous things, with all the numbers. Uh, so what we're going to do is go to our set geo method, copy and paste this line of code here, and put it down here. And we're going to change this to operation button. And um, at i, i equals zero in this case, throughout the whole for loop, i only equals zero. So at i, and i in this case is clear. Um, on typical calculators, uh, the clear button is right next to the zero button, at least on some calculators I've used. It's, the clear button should go right here, so when i equals zero, we're going to want to set that clear button right there. So. The y value could stay the same, because it's the same amount down. Um, what we're going to need to change is the x value. And we're going to change that to 100, and we're going to leave the q size at 50-50. Alright, perfect. Let's copy and paste this line, and we're going to say i plus 1. And what we're doing is we're just moving it to this array, so the array index is 1. And at 1, it's the equals button. And we're going to want to put the equals button right here next to, under the 3 and next to the clear button, just because that makes the most sense. Um, so what we're going to want to do is just go ahead and change the x value again. OK, perfect. Now let's copy and paste this line of code again. And um, we're going to say i plus 2. At the operation buttons of 2, uh, the index 2 is the plus button, and we're going to go ahead and put the plus button diagonal to the 3 and right next to the equals button. We're going to do that simply by changing this here uh, x value. Size remains 50-50, and so on. Um, so what we're going to do here in this for loop is do the same thing except with the minus. So the minus is at 3, and we're, we can't run it this through this for loop like this, otherwise buttons at one at index 1, 2, and 3 will get created. And that wouldn't be good because we already have these buttons over here, and they'll just pile on top of each other and it's just not efficient and it's just bad. So what we're going to want to do is create an if statement, and we're going to say if i equals equals 3, then go ahead and run this code right here. Um, hopefully this is all making sense. It's pretty basic stuff. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so let's copy and paste this if statement, and we're going to say if i equals equals 4. We're going to keep that at i. Oh, up here in this for loop, we're going to need to change the x value to 100, and y value we could keep at 300. No, no, um x value we want at 200, y value we want at 250. And yeah, that'll that'll look good. Okay, so now if i equals equals 4, then operation button at, at index i, set the geometry. At 4, we can see that it is the multiply button. Um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. At 4, it's the multiply button. Which, so we're going to want to put the multiply button up here right next to the 6. So we're going to do that by simply going um, up to our x value, and we're going to change it to 200. And we're going to change this to 200 as well. And we can go ahead and copy and paste this if statement. Paste it down here. Um, and then we're going to say if i equals equals 7, then we're going to do i minus 2. So then it'll go to index 5, which is our divide button. And we're going to want to change 
x value to 200 is good, and then our y value to 150. And there we go. We now officially have everything we need for this program to run. At least, I hope so. So let's go ahead and run this and see what we have. Okay, so the divide button's still up here, and the zero got moved to where the divide button is. Um, that is because in our main window.h, we set operation buttons equal to five when there's really six. I when I thought that it counted the zero, so it would be zero, one, two, three, four, five, which is six, but it really counts the zero in this. And so five total, but we want six total. And if we go ahead and change that, our program should run perfectly. Actually, not perfectly. There's one other bug I want to fix up real quick. So two plus three equals five. Okay, five, uh, clear. That's the problem right there. Five times six equals 30. Uh, clear, 30 divided by 5 equals 6, clear, 3 minus 2 equals 1. Okay, so in our program, you notice that it, would, it wouldn't clear the first number and second number as it should have after we hit equals. So we're going to want to fix that just by saying first num equals 0 snum equals zero and we're going to want to say um, value equals zero equals nothing and total equals nothing as well and then that should clear up our problem right there um, so if we go ahead and run it again, 8 times 9 equals 72. 3 minus 2 equals 6. Oh. 5 minus 3 equals 15. 6 minus 2 equals 12. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. Subtract rule equals true. Wait. Let's go ahead and run this again. We're going to want to say 6 minus 3 equals 3. Uh, 3 plus 6 equals negative 3. Okay, so the problem is, is the operations never equal false if you don't hit clear. So we're going to fix that very simply. By, let's just copy and paste this and then Paste it false. Then subtract bool plus false. Multiply bool plus false. And then divide bool equals false. Okay, now if we run it, it should hopefully work. Sorry about all these bugs, by the way. I don't really prepare for these episodes. 8 times 6 equals 48, minus 3 equals negative 3. No, that's, that's not right. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. Two plus, minus 3 equals negative 1. Uh, 1 plus 3 equals 4. Okay, so we've got our um, goals figured out now. There's one more thing that I'm going to want to fix in the future, but I think that's it for today's episode. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to message me or comment. Uh, be sure to like this video, and I'll see you next time.